we're here for another reason. We're not just here for ants. Although the ants is definitely a cool bonus. Hi guys, don't eat me. Wow, there's a lot of you. And uh, do you guys got those queso burgers? No, yeah, the queso, yeah. Yeah, let me get a queso burger. Remember guys, we got a Discord server. If you have uh, bike questions or if you need uh, bike help, we got all that. Tire feels good. Clamps are holding up. Now we're running 40 to one today. A uh, viewer suggested trying it, thought it might help with uh, the uh, high RPM misses that we're having. Um, actually, I can't say for sure, but I think it's made it a little worse. I might be overthinking this, but my theory is that with the thinner fuel mix, cause it's got less oil in it, it uh, travels through the jet easier. So we've actually richened up the mix. That's just my thoughts. It is a beautiful day. The weather is almost perfect. It's a tad on the cool side, but I will take a little cool over a little hot any day. Now we're gonna try Sonic's queso burger. That ain't bad. I dropped queso on my camera. This building has power. I can hear something humming. It sounds like the uh, the fridges. Huh. We're heading back up to Goldona to once again try and get our trail permit. The bike is uh, good so far. I don't think we're going to have any problems. I think I'm going to go back to 32 to 1. But it was worth a shot. We still got a few other things we can try. Uh, first, I want to try a different spark plug. I want to try a, a B6 HS and a B5 HS. Now that we got 
the smaller sprocket on the bike and we go faster. We don't have to worry so much about heat anymore. I've just been running the uh, V8 HSs through the summer because I had so many of them. Another thing I'd like to try is very slightly advancing the timing. I'm gonna grind the keyway just a little bit so I can advance the magnet and see if that helps. Here's the rut that destroyed our forks on the original Bassett Blaster. That's the one that did it. <laughs> I hit that on the way back going just a little too fast and it bent them in. I'm lucky it didn't fold them in half. better than I thought it would. It takes a really rough spot, like we just hit, to uh, get it to move. Small potholes, rough trails, rough bumpy roads, they don't really move it. That's as far as the good news goes for that mirror. Because unfortunately, it's lacking in pretty much the most important department, visibility. It's a blind spot mirror and it's completely useless unless somebody is like already so close to you that it's too late to do anything. Now in the afternoon, early morning, at night, just like any mirror it's nice because well you can see headlights so you know when a car is coming but in the daytime it's completely useless. Uh, like I said the cars will pretty much already be just about passing you by the, by the time you can even tell that there's a car coming. What we really need is a flat mirror, and that's what I'm gonna replace it with. Just a good, old-fashioned, flat motorcycle mirror. Check it out. This has got to be the biggest ant colony I have ever seen. We're here for another reason. We're not just here for ants. Although the ants is definitely a cool bonus. Hi guys, don't eat me. Wow, there's a lot of you. Will the sketchiest bush ever hold up my bike? <laughs> no. Oh, what about the second sketchiest bush ever? You're kind of a mini tree, right? There's gotta be millions and millions of them. All up in there, there's a huge mound. All right, well, now that we're done going crazy about all the ants, which is totally awesome, anyways, we're actually here for, there's one hidden in this tree. You can barely see that, see that pipe? See these pipes? All right, so the main line was right there. That's, that's the trail, that's where we were riding. Just on the other side of these little trees. And I guess there was a secondary line that split off from the main. And there's all these pipes right here. I know as we get further up the trail, there is a reservoir where they did refill the steam engines because there's a, there's a billboard about what it used to look like. Here I can't see any water, no creek, no pond or anything. So maybe they just loaded some kind of product 
into the trains here. I'm just picking up a trail pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wire loomed the spark plug cable because it was red. Not much I can do about the boot, but it's faded out anyway. And I wire loomed the CDI wires. Looks like we got more than half a tank. I'm really tempted to just keep going, but I know we got a long ways back. So, guess what happened when we hit the brakes? They spun. They sure did. And now that rear wheel is super loose. I've heard guys tell me about this happening to them before. I was never sure if it was from improper adjustment, uh, faulty equipment, or legitimate. It is legitimate. If you're hauling ass, do not use the coaster brake. Uh, okay, so just in case I wasn't clear about what happened back there, when I hit the brakes so we wouldn't smash into that rut, I pulled the handbrake and I hit the coaster brake. Now I hit the coaster brake pretty good. I got I really put some weight down on it. And I guess the brake locked up and pushed the pedal forward. 
it forced the pedals forward as soon as I hit the brake. And that sent me up <laughs> off of the seat and then back down again real quick. And it also loosened our, our wheel. So it spun something. Spun the, I think it spun the cone nut. Or it spun the whole axle itself. Now we just readjusted the bearings and the axle on this wheel. And I made sure that I had those lock nuts good and tight because that was our problem with it coming loose in the first place. They weren't tight enough. So I made sure they were tight this time. Probably tighter than they came from the factory. So that should tell you something. If you ever have to slam on the coaster brake on one of these bikes, there's a good chance you might experience what I just did. Now thankfully, we had the handbrake. Otherwise, that would have really sucked. I thought I was going over the handlebars again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little ride today. And I will see you in the next video. Ride safe, safer than me.